Okay, we're going to talk about installing chameleon sensors. I've got four sensors here on four different colored wires. The blue wire is always the shallowest, then the white, then the red, then the black. Now, we have to dig a hole to put them in the ground, obviously. Here I've got a, a drill bit a wood for, that's used for wood. You can buy that at a hardware store. It's connected to a handle. Here is a bucket type auger, five centimeters. Here is a larger auger. And you might have to use even a spade if that's the best you can do. Now, you want a smaller hole if you can, uh, the, the, the bigger the hole, the bigger the disturbance. So a small hole is best. But you also need to work around inside your hole by pressing the soil around your sensor. So I'm going to use this five centimeter auger now and auger the hole. Okay, I've got two trays here, one for the topsoil and one for this orangey subsoil. And I want to keep them separate. I want my hole 60 centimeters deep, which I've got there, 60. And this is my rod for uh, compacting the soil back around the sensors. So I've actually marked 15, 30, 45 and 60 on my rod. So, the so I'm going to put all the sensors in the same hole. You can put the sensors in different holes if you want, but I'm going to put them all in the same hole. And uh, I'm just going to check it's at the bottom of the hole. And now I'm starting with the soil that came out from the bottom. And I've got to squash that soil back around my sensor, taking care not to not to damage the sensor at all. So you just need good contact between the soil and the sensor. Um, these sensors are going to be at 15, 30, 45 and 60. So when I've, uh, I can see when I've put enough water, enough soil on because the next marker will come in to show. So the next one to go down is red. Now you always soak the sensors before you put them in the ground. They should be reading blue before you put them in. Blue color on the reader. Um, okay, I'm just making sure it's the right depth. And now I'm going to pack the soil around the red sensor. All the subsoil's been returned, I can start adding the topsoil. So the next sensor to go in is the white one. Okay, so I'm packing the hole because I don't want, I want to have good contact between the soil and the sensor, and I don't want water to run down my hole. So I'm packing it nice and solid. And the blue sensor is the last one to go in at 15. So these sensors are at 15, 30, 45 and 60 centimeters. And there they are.